Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and we're social distancing because I'm feeling a little bit hot. A little hot, not sure. But Bruno, Scott, what are we going to test? Elijah Craig, Toasted Barrel. Tested! Super social distance style. Yeah. Toasted Barrel style. All right, we are back in. So I wasn't even going to say that you were feeling a little under the weather because then people will be like, well, if he's under the weather, we shouldn't be tasting whiskey. Oh, no, whiskey. It's the water of life. I was just going to say, hey, we're just, we couldn't get together. We're social dis or we're a uh, uh, time constraint here. We're remote. Oh, no. I wanted to go for the full disclosure because uh, we were going to film today. Talk about it. Here, let me put you full screen for that bad boy. Yeah, so uh, special edition just come out, Elijah Craig. It's probably been out for a couple of months, actually, but just got into our market. Uh, and we've had people ask, we're in Wichita, Kansas. But uh, Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, 94 proof. This is just Elijah Craig small batch. That's then been um, finished in toasted oak barrels. Right. And uh, what happened today was we were going to film. We were even working on our Christmas photo, which we send out to our Patreon supporters. So if you guys want a Christmas card from us, no tips yet, no hints yet, but it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. We were going to film that. And I'm like, man, I'm just not feeling good. And Scott didn't now even hesitate. You keep what? saying we were going to film that. And you just well, mean take a picture. We we're going to take a picture. So right. Okay. We we're going to take a picture. That's not technically. Wouldn't that film, it? film it? Wouldn't that? Huh? What, what, I guess we were going to photograph it. Shoot it. You'd say we we're going to shoot, shoot it. the photograph. Yeah. That sounded. Shooting. That sounds very, very hyper dangerous. We're going to shoot it. We're going to shoot it. So we couldn't do that. I don't know why I just shook it. You came by. You you socially distanced. Dropped off the samples. Said let's and. We decided we're going to film, but we're going to do it safely. I think I just got a bit of a cold, but of course, nowadays, you never know. Yeah. My taster is still working, so I feel confident that I don't have the vid. Well, and actually, I've even, I've been taking a little hiatus myself. I haven't had, uh, this will be my first whiskey in nine or 10 days. Uh, actually, I, was, I knew we were going to be filming today, so I'd even been holding out, but I'm still planning on going... Uh, at least another week of, of, well, my main problem has been drinking at night, um, similar to some problems you were having. Yes. Um, if not, I just, I was getting some headaches and stuff when I was going to bed and laying down. And um, I finally put two and two together. It wasn't every night, but um, I was finally like, hey, maybe I need to take a break. Um, and I have been, and it's been good so far. So breaks are good. The first thing I told you is you got to quit drinking a half a bottle of Elijah Craig barrel proof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do you in brother that'll get you no i know you're uh my deal is definitely if i i cut myself off no sampling after eight at night because it just kind of uh, it messes with my stomach which was a uh it was a big killjoy when we were in scotland because we would get back about eight o'clock at night and there'd be all these unbelievably good bottles sitting there and i'd be like mm, not sampling <laughs> it was like what Let's get to the whiskey. People are going to be yelling at us. Yeah, I'm not. I'm used to that. By the way, I'm used to it. I just go out wearing this shirt and I get yelled at. Idiot! <laughs> I get I get uh, Elijah Craig's small batch of nose. I mean, there, there's rye, there's cinnamons, maybe a hint of that toasted barrel similar to like the Michter's uh, toasted barrel series that they do. M maybe a little bit more of a sweet oak type. Right. I agree. I get a little, this one, at least for my nose, feels like a little bit more rye than I normally get. And then those caramels, a little bit of furniture polish, definitely the oak coming through. So interesting. No water. Trying this neat. And the proof is 47%. Yeah. 47, kind of really standard uh, Elijah Craig, uh, small batch proof. I'm gonna go. I'm getting in on the palate. Did you just sip? No. Right. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's a little bit different. It tastes a little more yeah. oaky. 
Yeah, yeah. a little more oaky, uh, Elijah Craig, than I'm used to. Yeah, I agree. It is different. Um, sweeter, maybe even a little bit more of the rye showing here than normally does in Elijah Craig as well. Hmm. Sweet corn. Um, not well. Sweet corn. The uh, the cream cheese corn. What do you call it? Oh, creamed corn. No cheese. No cheese. Cream. Yeah, just creamed corn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually could see that a lot. My mom used to make this corn casserole, and it kind of mm -hmm. tastes a little bit mm -hmm. like that. Now it's a little more astringent, a little drier than what I'm used to with Elijah Craig, and I would imagine maybe some of that's that toasted barrel. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely done something different than your standard uh, Elijah Craig small batch. And I don't believe I even have a small batch to compare it to to see. All I have are barrel proofs. Ooh, that's a good, you're talking dirty. All I have is barrel proofs. That's like some guy that's like, oh, I only date supermodels. What? <laughs> well, you got a small batch, pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> Just to see, this is definitely, I do agree, a little bit more astringent, a little drier, a little bit more of that sweet corn. I don't um, know if this is fair. This is my 12 year. Uh, no. Okay. I've got, all I've got then handy that I can see is a store pick from. Oh, all right. Let's just, we'll stay away. Cause that wouldn't be fair. Right. This is a 1.75 with the 12 year on the back. And I wish I had a case of it. It was good. Yep. If we could just it's a regular back. small batch, but back when they used to age at 12, I was hitting it so much. I knew it was going to be gone. I had to stop. This feels a little, like I say, a little sweeter, a little bit more rye, a little bit more oak. Um, a little different. Yep. I got a lot more oak with the touch of cream on the finish. I wish we did have a normal small batch just to compare it to next right side by side with it. I like this. It's good. I don't, um, it, I mean, is it, is it outstanding? Is it head and shoulders above the other? No. Uh, nope. is it on, on par on line with the other Elijah Craig? Yeah, maybe. It is. And I hate to say, I hate to say if it's worse or better, it's right in there with it just because I don't have the other one to go side by side with. I think, I think the regular small batch probably has a little bit more punch to it. Yeah. I'm going to say flavor. this. Yeah. If you like, if you lean toward the oak flavor, then I think you'll like this one, maybe even a little bit better. Um, it's got it. It's probably got the same amount of rye, but it feels like maybe a touch more rye. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I That's like. Right. They say they have right on the label. It's just it's their small batch finished in toasted barrels. So I mean, it's the same recipe, same whiskey. Which you know, when you go to the Michter series, though, that has that that toasted barrel, those whiskeys do come off a little bit smoother, a little bit lighter. It's kind of like that toasted barrel took out some of the harshness and just kind of made it a little bit more rounder and, and not quite the flavor punch. With the Michters, you're saying. Right, right. But I'm saying I think about the same thing here. I think this is kind of toned down. It's a little bit more round. Um, the flavors are a little bit more melded together, smoother. To me, it's just a little less robust, though. It's a yeah. little, yeah. It's got a so it it doesn't quite flavor flavor something. Me doesn't quite. It's it's like a touchdown on the flavor with a notch up on the oak. I'm ready to score it. And I'm going to do it before you turn it around. A nine. I thought it's you were going lower than that. Well, you was talking. I got 87. No, it's not over-oaked. Um, to me, I still like Elijah Craig. Uh, you know, it's it's really the barrel proof's my favorite bourbon. So it's definitely got those Elijah Craig notes in there. It's mm -hmm. not over-oaked. I personally, I know everybody's different. I don't like a strong oaky flavor. There's just a touch of oak with a bit of the astringency. I kind of like the cream corn here, though. 
Yeah. I don't normally get that. And I like that. And I'm a big fan of rye. So when I get a little bit more rye flavor, that that's cool with me. Yeah, I like it. Like I say, I, don't, I just don't know that it's necessarily, I mean, it's right in there with the small batch, a little bit different uh, profile going with it. Well, that mm -hmm. was going to lead me down the next question because is it worth it? Um, I actually think, well, even at that score, I would buy the regular small batch over this toasted. So what's the price comparison? Well, probably because we can buy small batch for $25, $27. Now, I don't know what this is going for elsewhere. Um, it's probably allocated. This is the only bottle I've seen of it, and we had to pay $45 for it here. Ooh, see, yeah, that would be a, a non-starter for me. If, I mean, if you want to try it, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're going to be disappointed by it. Um, mm -hmm. Justifying the price difference between the two. Hey, it's something different. It's a different whiskey. You know, if, if, uh, if you don't want to try new stuff, don't buy it. Well, that or listen to the dummies because we're telling you right here. I mean, I would buy the regular small batch, not just because of the money price, but I think the flavor for me is a little bit better with the normal small batch at half the price. Yeah. Sometimes they knock it out of the yeah. park. The, the Michter's yeah. toasted barrel was unbelievable. Yeah. And I was, I was actually hopeful that that was what was going to happen here. Um, so it's, it's still, you can tell it's Elijah Craig. It's good. It's got that touch of Oak feels like a little bit more rye and a little bit more creaminess than I'm used to. I agree with you. Maybe everything's a little more rounded. Mellowed mellowed yeah that's a better that's probably a better uh choice of words yeah so but for my favorite bourbon um i would buy the small batch over this but hey yeah um i did add a drop of water i didn't really notice any difference a pretty healthy drop of water uh really didn't change anything with it i didn't notice any differences but that's it all right hey a couple notes um, don't forget, you can uh, come help support us on Patreon. Notice how I'm using a pen even to point at you. Like, you got to listen to this. You got to listen. You go to patreon.com, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for how much, Bruno? As dollar. Little as? Dollar. A, a dollar. Come on, a dollar? You give the guy in the corner more money than that, he's hungry. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up some of our merchandise, help support the show as well. And there's some uh, t-shirts showing down below. They're on our website. They're down below. You can click on that link, change the color, change the style, do what you want. Look at that Spartan helmet, baby. That's a good Spartan helmet. Scotch it. You. Scotch guys. Slotcha. Dummies. Dummies.